Today has been a very, very busy day. Just got off the phone with Carol and explained her my busy day. Got up this morning, got my work done, and then uh, last night, for some reason, uh, I got a notification from Expedia.ca giving me a notification saying that today I'm checking out of my hotel. And I'm like, what in the hell are they talking about? So we're right in the middle of watching uh, Ocean's Eleven last night. Uh, my daughter bought me pizza for Father's Day. Ben bought me some cool things. And uh, Carol bought me something. I'll show you those when I get home if I remember. But so I get this notification. I get this huge, warm, sweaty, stress feeling warming over me because I basically had to go through my emails quickly to check my confirmation email. And yes, I booked my hotel room a week before I had to go. I have no idea. I know when I booked it, I was booking several things at the same time. And for some reason, I booked VidCon Hotel a week early. And so this morning I had to wake up, phone the hotel to try and book back into that hotel again, which I managed to do for $300 more, which really sucks. Uh, and they only had like two bedrooms left or two, two hotel rooms left. And then I had to also book my transportation from the airport to the hotel and their website sucks horribly. And that took forever and several times trying to do it through their website, brutal. After I booked that, I phoned my travel agent just to see if they had better connections, better deals, because sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. This time, it seemed like they did, and they could get me into the Marriott, which is right beside the convention center. And I was so excited that she said the Marriott, we didn't really go over the actual address. After booking it, everything was done, and it was, but a hundred dollars less, two hundred dollars less than what I booked, and I'm like, yes. So it's a better hotel, closer to the event, and it was cheaper. And then I realized after looking at the actual address, uh, it was like a mile away from where I wanted to be. So, so I had to phone her back, tell her to cancel that. Oh man, gosh, it took me all morning to go through all this process. So everything's fine. I got my ho my flight was all perfect. My hotel was all screwed up, but now it's all perfect. And uh, my transportation's good. The I'm using Primetime Shuttle, and they used to be like 15, maybe $20 there, and 15 to $20 back. So now they've bumped it up to $42 American. So I'm not sure what's happened out <laughs> in California, but uh, Primetime Shuttle decided to double their prices over a course of a year. Nice. I should do that with YouTube. Hey YouTube, I'm doubling my prices for all my ads. No reason. Anyway, I'm in Barrie, Ontario, Canada, and I am headed to Smokes Poutinery. I put a picture of me with a question mark face uh, asking people, what should I review for today's food review? And posted that out there, hoping to get lots of attention, which it did. And a lot of people a bunch of people wanted me to go to Smokes. Some people didn't care what I ate. Some people gave me a suggestion of what they thought I should eat. So we're gonna go in there. I'm gonna read through the comments again and then uh, pick something. Uh, the worst thing about this location is parking. So I remember trying to get this parking last time I was up here. All right, so let's find a parking spot and then get this food review done. I can't believe there's a spot right there. Gotta make a U-turn, come back. Wow, can't believe I got this spot. Right in front of Smokes. So we'll uh, look through the emails, see which one's the best, set my lights. I'm just gonna shoot with this camera today. I uh, don't have time been a busy busy morning to put up two cameras and edit two cameras so I'm just gonna do the one camera shoot and we'll do a two camera shoot for Wednesday and uh, let's get busy lights are all set up I got light one light two I'm just gonna be putting this camera 
right about there. I'll be using that camera. And uh, I could use the GoPro. I don't see why I couldn't use the GoPro. It's still one camera. Hello. Hey, how are you? All right, how are you doing? Good. Uh, I would like to try the Mexican. Mexican scrambler? Yeah. Let's okay. Why do they call it scrambler? Just because it's called scrambler? Yeah. <laughs> because I guess it's a mix of things. Well, it's I guess. got scrambled eggs. Oh, scrambled eggs. eggs. So. <laughs> the not veggie nachos. Mm -hmm. There's only one kind of Mexican yeah, one, right? Yeah, there's nacho grande, but that's called the Mexican. Oh, there it is, nacho grande, homemade chili, jalapeno, salsa, guac. Yes, I'm not sure about the whole eggs on my on my poutine. You get a lot of requests for that here. I make two. Yeah, I don't make them very often. Yeah, but the the nacho grande. That one's good. It's my favorite. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's do that then. Thank you. No problem. Enjoy. Oh boy. That's why I grabbed five napkins. Holy schmoly. This thing's freaking huge. That's what it looks like, people. That's what it looks like. All right, vlog people, all done. Putting the camera away in the camera bag. Getting my lights done off the windshield. Just gonna throw them there. We have to go pick up. Uh, ben has a, uh, a backpack that broke. And uh, so he has it being fixed at uh, Mountain Equipment Co-op. So I'm gonna go pick it up for him get done done and out of our way and then we'll head home all right let's go All right, how are you doing today? I'm here to pick up a uh, backpack that's for repair. Okay. Domic, D-O-M-I-K. He was like, how are they gonna fix that? And I go, that's what they do. They fix it. They fix things. Oh, I can see where they did it too. Thank you very much, ladies. It was free of charge because it's, it's a Mac bag and they uh, they stand by their stuff. One of the arm things broke, one of those broke right off. And so Ben was just like, I'll get a new one. I'm like, dude, Mech stands by behind their products and they'll repair it for you. And he's just, he just doesn't understand how well they'll repair it. So I just looked at it, it looks like a great repair and they don't charge you for it. Okay, time to go home. But again, like I texted Ben, told him it was 80 bucks. See if he freaks out, because I'm pretty sure they told him it was free, and I told him it was free. But now I'm telling you it's eighty dollars to fix it. He'll be like, "Oh man, I could have bought a new bag, dude." That's how he talks. Ben just phoned me. He's like, "There's no way it's eighty dollars." <laughs> ah, that's funny. So I said, "No, nah, I'm just kidding with you." And he's like, "I was ready to fight, <laughs> uh, dude." Everything's cool, man. You got your bag back for free. As I was passing the bank, I'm thinking, I need some American money. So let's get some American money out of my RBC account. American account, obviously. Then we'll head up to the post office because I think there's some stuff at the post office for me. How are you doing today? Good, how are you? All right, I'd like to take out some American money out of that, uh, my American business account. Thank you. 
Uh, 250, please. 50s will be fine. It's 51, 52, 50. Thank you very much. Okay, you're welcome. 250,000. Nice. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Always do something nice for somebody. Every day, people. You'll feel better about yourself. I sure do. I made it to the post office. Let's go see what we got. Something from McDonald's. Hello. Hello. How are you? All right, how are you doing? Great. Very well. Thank you very much. You're very well. Have a good evening. You too. Thank you. This box is from a company or an, a public relations company called Argyle. I think it's the Takis thing. I'll show you when I get home. Let's go home. Every once in a while, uh, we crack open a fresh can of fresh cat food instead of the, the dry stuff to eat. And so, Louie and Sonny, Sonny's going crazy. Louie only ate a little bit. Ninja, I don't think he's ever had this food before. Can't remember. What do you think, buddy? Pretty good stuff. It'll make your breath stink, but man, that tastes good. So for some reason, Louie backed away from his. So hopefully Ninja just, it's okay, Ninja. Good stuff. Yeah. Whisker looking good. Sam's waiting to see if he gets anything the cats don't eat, which he usually does because uh, the cats are pretty finicky. And if they don't eat it all, then Sam gets to clean up. He's waiting patiently. <laughs> this reeks like sardines in here right now. Oh. Oh.